there's no denying that there's a global need for clean energy that, that's affordable. And when you look up at the sun, there's as much energy from the sun in just one hour as the entire world consumes in a year. So there's essentially unlimited resource there, and it comes down to using technology to convert that energy in the sun into a most usable form of energy, electricity. And that's where a solar photovoltaic is the key. When you look at existing technology, solar photovoltaics are made from silicon. They're still essentially made of a glass-like thing, and we're looking at making them out of very low-cost materials, plastics, actually. And a plastic is also known as a polymer, and we're working with materials called semiconducting polymers that can fulfill all of the roles of silicon, but they can be printed and they can be manufactured, therefore, very, very cheaply. These polymer solar cells essentially just look like a flexible film of plastic, and they could be used in a number of ways. They could sit on top of your rooftop, just like an existing solar panel does, but because they're lightweight and flexible, they could be used in outdoor equipment, and tents and things like that. You could have a little flexible, lightweight charger for your phone when you're out and about. They could be on walls of houses. We could make semi-transparent films that coat windows that absorb, let's say, half the sunlight instead of tinting the window and turn that sunlight into electricity. Victoria's a great place to do this research because here in my lab we have a set of very powerful tools, some of them are unique, that enables us to study the process by which photons are converted to electricity. The university invested a lot and supported this research very generously and as a consequence of that we've built really a world-class lab in ultra-fast laser spectroscopy and we've also brought in a lot of collaborations from around the world, people working in Hong Kong, the US, Europe, also in New Zealand, Australia, people who are experts in developing new materials, they recognize our expertise and they send us their materials to probe with the special tools that we have. We collaborate with a lot of people around the world and around New Zealand to study their next generation materials and understand what distinguishes a really good material or a promising material from a material that we thought might have been good but it actually doesn't do well at turning light into electricity. We can really pick apart those processes and understand what makes it good and ultimately how to make a better material to create more effective low-cost photovoltaic solutions for New Zealand and for the world.